Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com, and today we're gonna do a little bit more of an advanced video about using MA Invisalign with MA Mandibular Advancement. And I just want to, of course, give this disclaimer that I have to give on all Invisalign videos. Bear with me, sorry, my legal team requires me to say this, so you gotta listen to it. I do not work for Align Technology. I do not work for Invisalign. I have never worked for or with either of these programs. I probably never will. Um, I don't have a problem with either of these programs. The reason why I make this content is because y'all are asking for it. And I serve you guys, the dentists and the dental community of the whole universe. The reason why I make these videos and I pay out of my pocket to make these videos, even though probably inadvertently, if I'm making a positive video, companies like Invisalign make a ton of profit off my videos, if that makes sense, is because I wanna leave a positive footprint and quality aligner education it is my clinical opinion that the education that you get from some of these companies is substandard and biased. And that again is my clinical opinion. I have sat in, I've listened, I've heard the content. It's not the way I would teach it. I don't think it's necessarily the right way to teach it. I don't think it's the safest way to teach it. So I teach it for free and I put it all out there and I don't charge for it just to help you guys. Now, does this make companies like Invisalign Align Technology and other companies upset that I'm clear like this? Of course. So they have come after me before. Um, so I have to say everything that I say in this video is my own clinical opinion. Ultimately, if you're going to be using Invisalign, use it right. Um, use it on the right cases and do it the right way so you can get the right outcomes. It makes me sleep better at night, even though I'm not the treating doctor, to know that smiles are being made around the world in the right way. And I do really actually love the brand Invisalign Align Technology. I have a few bumps with it. But for the most of the part, I'm very bullish about this brand, even though I do not profit from it in any way. And it costs me money to make these videos. All right. So again, if you do or if you are a C-suite level member, that means like top of the top, not a rep, not a territory manager, not a manager, and you've decided that you don't like this video, even though it's helping you, and everybody's asking for it, and if I take it down, I'm gonna let them know who told me to take it down. Uh, ha ha, uh, you will get, <laughs> you probably don't wanna do that. Uh, but if for whatever reason, Joe Hogan and his immediate team have decided it needs to come down. They'd have my contact information. They can contact me directly. Happy to take it down. Do not send your lawyers to me because that will just make me mad. Thank you. All right. So before you listen to this video, you need to have listened to two, well, a couple other sets of videos. One, you either need to have taken my phase one course, which is a very affordable course, which you can reach from my website, Straight Smile Solutions, or you have to have clicked through my entire phase one YouTube channel and my entire Invisalign YouTube channel. That's over 550 videos. That would probably take you about five months to a year to actually get through. If you've gone through all those videos, then I'm cool with you listening to this video. If you haven't gone through all these videos, you probably shouldn't be listening to this video because it's not going to make sense. All right. So just a couple little things that occasionally happen um, with MA that you guys have a lot of questions about. And this is just maybe I'm using MA a little different than the way they teach. Every time they show what to expect after an MA, I've never seen a case turn out like that. It never, ever does. And I've seen easily hundreds of cases, if not more. And I'm not saying it turns out bad. It just turns out not the way they said. So I do things differently to help to finish the cases. And they turn out amazing. That's the whole goal. They turn out amazing. I wish that Invisalign's ClinCheck AI would be more realistic with what you're going to see. Um, I don't have a problem with this. I expect it to be funky because I use twin blocks and it's the same darn thing as a twin block, except for it doesn't align teeth at the same time. Well, twin blocks actually do if you put an expansion device in and create space. But anyways, they work about the same and they're a heck of a lot cheaper. But compliance is worse. You got to use them on younger kids. They're much more bulky. So yeah, I call BS on the entire ClinCheck with MA. I mean, eventually, yeah, the goal of the MA is to grow the jaw. Yes, that happens. You might have some straight teeth, but a lot of other weird things are going to happen. And if you weren't expecting them, you and the patient are going to be upset. So I'm going to be really transparent. Okay. So usually they break and you go to M any, any MA case. And I just can't even show you a full case because I get in trouble when I do this. Okay. So yes, these are screenshots from my cases. Um, you're going to see during the active mandibular advancement phase, you're going to see kind of these blue hash marks. That's like the road, the, the map, the path. And then it's suddenly going to end. And they call it a transitional phase. And then they 
do this with like no aligners, um, no aligners fabricated. No, I mean, I've never even gotten to any of these phases. I always stop in the hash section. Why? Because by the time I get to this phase and these other phases, which I've never even gotten to, I have like a raging posterior open bite. It's just normal. You're going to have those wings. It's going to intrude the teeth. So this small phase is not going to fix it. What's going to fix it is settling the bite. And it's going to look something like this. This patient is biting down all the way. Okay. But there's no posterior contact. This is just because we had MA and the wings are there. It's normal. Who cares? I expect that. Same thing happens in twin block. So why not Invisalign? Why not put this into your clin check so we can understand what to do? So what they want you to do at this stage, I don't know if they want you to finish it or not. Regardless, no, you're wasting time in my opinion. What they want you to do this phase is put massive attachments on and close the posterior open bite and, and remove the anterior interferences. Okay, you can do that. Nothing wrong with that. But big pain in the butt. Takes a lot of time. So instead, what I've been doing, which has been working really well, was one of two things in these cases. And only if the threes are erupted, the canines. If we're still in baby teeth in these phase one cases, I might do things a little bit different. But for the where cases where the teeth are in, I'll either do, I call them sloppy bonded retainers. That means I'm not going to a lab to have bonded retainers made with a jig and I'm not spending money. I'm using whatever I have in the office, the braided wire, I don't really care. And I'm doing an upper two to two retainer and a lower three to three retainer, bonding it on, you know, every tooth. Obviously, if you don't know how to do that, I've got videos on my YouTube channel, use the floss method, you know, to hold it nice and tight. Just put a nice drop, you know, of composite there. Um, use a plastic instrument to, to mold it, like cure it, stack it, okay? Three to three, lower retainer, two to two top retainer, let that cook. Then you need to check the patient in office every two to three weeks, bite is gonna settle in the back. Once you get good posterior occlusion on both sides on almost all the teeth, now it's time to remove the bonded retainers and scan for the refinement just to finish and you're almost done. That works really well. The other option you can do, and I don't know how much Invisalign is going to love this option, but it really works, is instead of creating sloppy three to three retainers, I let Invisalign do it. Only if threes are in, I ask for three to three trays only. Okay, that means canine to canine. Can't be baby teeth, has to be permanent threes. We need anchorage. And I put lingual attachments at least on all the threes, buck, uh, upper and lower. So we're going to have four lingual attachments, bare minimum. I'm going to put buckle attachments on all the teeth three to three on top three to three on bottom okay so you're going to go from from six to eleven with buckle attachments six and eleven are also going to have palatal attachments on the bottom 22 to 20 um seven buckle attachments lingual attachments on 22 and 27 okay so a total of if i'm getting this right eight attachments on the top eight attachments on the bottom and the trays only cover six teeth each okay it's going to work the same way as the bonded retainer you're going to wear it. Now, the key with this one is you really have to keep an eye on this patient. This patient cannot ghost you, go off to camp, go to Europe, go on a sailing trip, wherever else your patients are going. No, no, no. This patient has to be here in the office. If somehow they're disappearing, you better have them on Invisalign virtual because really, really strange things are going to happen if this goes on too long. You have to keep a tight eye on. Them. You may only do this for one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks. And as soon as it's done, you're done. You take the trays away. You remove the attachments, or you can leave them on, and make temporary retainers to cover the whole arch in office, or as quickly send them out, because you need something to hold where you are. And then you scan for the refinement. And that's it. MA is magical as long as the patient is growing. You should definitely be checking it out. It's one of my favorite products with Invisalign. See, I was nice. All right, thank you.